In this video, we are going to get an overview of the overall functionality of Peak Control. On the home screen, we see different KPIs such as the total earnings, or how many machines are online, or to how many dApps they are connected. We also see a list of all the machines right here. On the My Machines page, we see more detailed information of a machine. For example, its peak ID, to which dApp it's connected, what its utilization has been. And also, we can make it available and unavailable. I need my electric vehicle to go to a meeting, so I'm making it unavailable. And once I'm done with the meeting, I make it available again, so it can sell services and make money for me while I don't need it. In the dApp store, you can see a list of all the applications that your machines can be connected to. Let's take a closer look at one dApp, for example, Bloxmove. When going on more info, we see the description of the project, the ability to connect a machine to it, the link to the website, and if we want to get a better feeling for it, we can also check out their Twitter, for example. On the organizations page, we can manage all the members of our organization. I'm the owner as I created the account, but I also added Daria as an admin so she can add and manage machines on the network. If you want to add a member, you just need their wallet address, add a name, select the role for them and click the add button. On the earnings page, we can see an overview over the overall earnings of all our machines, but also of specific machines, such as of Electric Vehicle 1, as we can see here. On the earnings history, we see a list of all the transactions all our machines have ever done. If you want to get started on using P-Control, just watch the Get Started video. Thanks for watching.